everybody uh it's me again just back with another up update um just want to let you guys know how it's been going since i've been in microbiology microbiology ended on the 13th of this month it's december and i took my final and i made it out with an a so yeah despite giving birth on october 5th i made it through with an a i had most of my tests were like 86, 87, 89, and my last lab exam, I got a 98, and then my final, I actually got an 87, but he curved, um, I think he curved the final, I'm not sure, it sure looked like it to me, but um, I mainly got B's on most of my exams, and I made it out with an A, and I'm just so grateful. So, as you know, or some of you do know, if you watched some of my videos, you know that was my last prerequisite class before I apply for nursing school. And I intend to apply for admission for fall 2018. The applications for all of the schools in my area, university, community colleges, open up in February 2018. So I am scheduled to take the T's twice. My first exam is going to be on January 5th so in a few weeks and my second one will be February 22nd which is pushing it because um, the applications open up February 1st but they close March 1st so yeah cross my fingers for this I'm doing everything I can to study just to show you real quick some of the things I'm studying with um, I bought this book so the ATI T secrets I'm not sure you know what can it, what it can do for me but so far it's pretty good um, I will do a review on this book when I'm done taking the T's test I'll let you know my scores I'll let you know how this book has helped me so far so good it has three um, practice tests full-length practice tests in the back so um, I think it's money well invested I don't plan on getting the ATI T study guide from their website or taking um, their you know, practice test A and B, unless I do bad on this T's test. And the school that I want to get into, I just want to go directly for my BSN. I know I, I did at one point want to do my ADN because it would cost less, but I just, now I'm about to be 35 next month, January 26th, and I just want to get it one and done. I mean, eventually maybe I'll consider going back for my master's to to be a nurse practitioner, but right now I just want my bachelor's, just one and done. Um, so I would need an 85% if I have to look at the past statistics for the people that they've let in, 85% was the lowest on the T-score, so I'm aiming high. Um, so yeah, this is one of my resources, and someone who I know who was my hairdresser, or still is my hairdresser, who was also an LVN on the side. <laughs> On the side well I guess you could say that in reverse she's doing hair on the side but she's an LVN and she's a school nurse she used this book which mainly is based off of the T's five um, it's pretty good too from what I know um, each chapter has review questions at the end of it sort of like a mini quiz so I'm using that in conjunction with the ATI T's book that I bought off of Amazon ATIT secret book. This one was like $30, I believe, at the time. And I'm also reviewing my science with this book, which I featured in other videos. And so far, so good. So I'm also using ATIT's T's Mastery app on my phone from the Google Store. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. And I'll do another video after I take the T's exam so happy once again to have made it out of microbiology and everything is make it out of microbiology with an a everything's moving along just fine so we'll see how it goes crossing my fingers for fall 2018 all right thank you for watching just a mini update